Hello there my good friends of YouTube, uh, do you remember these power supplies that I got from the scrapyard? Well I'm running a ZVS driver from it. This is a nice little compact ZVS driver just there. I've just got it on a bit of a heat sink there because I'm putting quite a bit of uh, current through this one. And this one's only really meant for about 16 volts uh, due to the fact of uh, the small heat sink and thin wires but it's it runs pretty well on uh, the high voltage I'm putting through it now of up to around about 30 volts well actually, tell a lie it goes up to about 26 volts on this one, on this video so I've got a really nice flyback just here oh, this one's a, quite a nice one, this one is, it's quite large as well and these are the windings, as a centre tap so I'll start off the uh, arcs now on around about mm, 15 and a half volts. These are fantastic power supplies, really are. I haven't done one of these videos for a while. Let's turn it up. Bloody noise. Alright, this is up full blast. Supplies warm. <laughs> Do you know something? It's not even warm. Absolutely nothing. Stone cold. These are absolutely awesome. These power supplies are, and I have been, I've been messing around with this for around about ten minutes, trying different arcs, taking down the windings. Um, I'm going to take down the windings a little bit more actually because the less windings you have um, it changes the uh, the input on the flyback and uh, the more windings you have the it, 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 you've, you've got to um, you've got to mess around with these to understand to uh, you know to to try different out uh, windings on the flyback to uh, get different outputs it varies on the the flybacks you're using as well uh, the ZVS driver is hmm, it's cold just this, this is a bit warm, the old ferrite, because it's got quite small windings, but uh, yeah, let's try this, flyback's cold, yeah it's just warm, windings on the ferrite are a little bit, on the flyback are just a bit warm, not too bad, but yeah, I do love those power supplies, Absolutely awesome. I'm going to have to try one of those next time and see how these get on. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the inside of one because the fan, the fans on top, this one was sticking. Uh, the fan wasn't coming on at all, so I uh, I took it apart and I'm going to just replace the fan in it because I've got something the same size. But yeah, this is the inside of them. Let me show you because the actual fan itself is a little temperature adjusted one, so it adjusts the input to the fan, which is quite quite cool. There's a sensor just there, 
and there's a sensor on the heat sink. I believe that's a sensor actually. Yeah, it is. So that's the thermo sensor and the thermo sensor on the back of here. Or is that? Oh no, it's not. Tell an eye. Some sort of transistor of some sort. I'll have to have a look at it to, uh, to fully understand that one. But yeah, that's the inside of them. Extremely well put together and extremely clean as well. No dust whatsoever in any of these. So you've got some some either MOSFETs under there or just ordinary either PMP or MPN transistors of some sort or probably some diodes but yes extremely well put together some really nice big caps so yeah I thought I'd share that with you guys if they excuse me I'm a bit tired quite late at night so I'm not thinking straight so I just thought I'd share that with you I just had to mess about with this before I went to sleep because otherwise I would have been thinking about it before I went to sleep and thought I've got to have to mess about with that before I, go. I should mess about with that before I go to sleep <laughs> as you do well anyway I'm not going to ramble on anymore and take your valuable time up guys thank you very much for watching my videos and I've uh, got quite a lot of videos uploaded lately and I've got nearly a thousand subscribers so thank you very much guys look after yourselves be safe thanks for watching my video and we'll speak again